Now at 6, Ingersoll Machine Tools in Rockford continues its work on a project set to usher in a new era of space exploration. And the company is making strides on a key piece for the Giant Magellan Telescope, which is set to be the largest telescope mount ever built in the United States. And 13 WREX's Emily McMinn got an inside look at a celebration for the advancements being made today. And Emily, what can you share with us about this um, momentous occasion? Well, Derek, today the company invited leaders for the project from around the world to celebrate as Ingersoll is now officially ready to begin assembling the pieces of that mount. This comes as the company works to play a part in creating the record-breaking technology and one longtime employee pushes to accomplish goals in his own community. Dave Zaremski initially began working for Ingersoll Machine Tools in 1977. After leaving for several years and missing the chance to work on another telescope, Zaremski knew he had to find his way back this time around. And I knew the size of it and the scope of it was something that was really a, a monumental advance in, in technology. So I really, really wanted to be a part of it. And the size of the new piece of technology? Well, the mount alone is going to be 22 stories, allowing scientists to study planets outside of the solar system, bringing the potential for new discoveries. The chemical composition of those stars that made up those first galaxies, do they look like the stars that we see in our sky today that are uh, formed billions of years later? We'll also be able to study black holes um, and exploding stars called supernova. And those new discoveries have the potential to bring answers to one of the biggest and most awaited questions. Be able to check for signs of biological uh, actions or interactions in those atmospheres. In other words, we may be able to discover life on other planets around other stars. Now a project manager for the Giant Magellan Telescope. Zaremski finds it hard to imagine what all will be seen and made possible by the new technology. Everybody is given gifts from God to be able to use to the very best of their ability. And everybody coordinates all those. And, and it's, it's a beautiful thing to see all this come together. And I, and I believe that, you know, we're going to be able to see amazing things, you know, deep, deep, deep into the universe as they get set to usher in a new generation with $2.6 billion being put into the telescope. The doors this technology can open both in the near future and for generations down the line are anxiously awaited by Zaremski and the other leaders continuing the work. Exciting just to be a part of it, to show future generations, you know, where that can lead to and what the potential is for that. The team anticipates for the telescope to begin collecting data in Chile in the early to mid-2030s. Back over to you, Brittany and Derek. All right, exciting time there, Emily. Thank you.